Weather Center now with another hot tamale on the way. Yeah, here. H H H, hot, <laughs> yes. hazy, humid. That's exactly right. We got That's the three really H's cute, going. I, I came up with that. H H H. <laughs> yes, we do have that going today, but we do get a little bit of relief tomorrow. And of course, you know, we're dying in the heat. The pets are dying in the heat. So everybody trying to find a way to stay cool and take a look at this picture behind me. We've been asking you to send in your pictures, and boy, have they been. Cute. That's Gucci Lewis on the river. <laughs> Isn't she precious? Uh, she's having a good old time out in the summertime heat. And thanks so much to Debbie for sending that in. If you have your picture, send them to Coin uh, to report it at Coin.com. We love getting these photos. Uh, here's a look out right now. We're near 90, so we're trying to hit 90 degrees, just like we did yesterday. We made it into the low 90s yesterday. In fact, the fourth hottest day of the year. And so we're close to that again today. Temperatures will stay in the upper 80s as we head through 7 o'clock. So it is going Going to be a very warm evening ahead. If you're going to be outside in the sunshine, sunset to 8:58 p.m. Uh, expect it to be hot enough where you're going to want to stay hydrated. So upper 80s, upper 70s by 9 o'clock, and there will be a breeze that'll make it feel a little bit more pleasant. And then mid 70s as we head towards midnight, but eventually down into the low 60s out there right now. 89 downtown, East Moreland in the upper 80s, Hillsboro, Tigard in the low to mid 90s. So again, the west side just cranking up the heat. Out by the coast, though, we're in the low to mid-60s and cloud cover already pushing back in. Triple digit heat for the Dows and over at Bend in the mid 90s. And so we're going to continue with uh, this heat one more day uh, before we really get into a bit of a break. Now, you will notice a break tomorrow, but the big great, big break is yet to come. Uh, here's a look at the cloud cover. You can see all that back to the west is going to push into the coastal areas overnight, eventually into the valley, and it is going to be a little thicker for us tomorrow morning. So that will help in some of this cool down. Plus, we've had this big ridge of high pressure, which keeps the storm track so far to the north, and basically, this storm track De, uh, it deflects any of the colder air that's up in Canada from getting here. And so what's going to happen is over the next few days, this track is going to shift and that's going to allow for that cold, cooler air to move down. And so we're going to go to below average temperatures as we wrap up the work week, head into the weekend. We're also going to get into some unsettled weather. So we're talking rain chances too over the weekend for many of us. For the coast, some fog early on, then mostly cloudy and mild. Temperatures in the low 60s, mid 80s. So it's still going to be warm for the valley, but not as hot. Central and Eastern Oregon, another hot one, but uh, still a little bit better than today. We'll top out in the middle and upper 90s. It will be breezy tomorrow. Keep that in mind with the fire danger. It's very hot, very dry, and those winds could be up near 25 miles an hour at times. Hood River, a breezy day. Good news for the wind surfers. Winds picking up finally, gusting to 35 miles an hour tomorrow afternoon. Cascades, a lot of sunshine for you tomorrow. And then zooming on into the metro, 81 in Portland, the west side. We won't see the 90s tomorrow. We're going to top out mainly in the low to mid 80s. And then as we head east, temperatures here basically the same in the low 80s and up north in the low 80s too. So not as hot. We'll have the cloud cover linger a little bit longer through the morning. And then Friday, we'll see those clouds linger a lot more through the day. And then a front coming through Friday night really gets that cool down going. Uh, Saturday and Sunday highs mainly in the mid to upper 70s. Uh, we'll start to even get to the mid 70s perhaps by Sunday and then it stays a little cooler even as we go into early next week. So if you like the cooler weather, yeah, it's, it's definitely coming. looking good for you. It's for coming. I always say it feels cooler after you've been in the 90s oh, and yes. the high 80s. <laughs> that 70 always seems chilly almost. Yeah, I don't yes. even know where my light jackets are. I'm going to yeah. bring them up. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. Thank you, Kristen.